So thank you for joining me. What I want to talk today is about government and people are like, oh no, nobody wants to hear about that. We certainly live in interesting times and I'm sure you are all aware of all of the things that have happened recently, but I do want to talk about government for a brief moment. So if you're thinking that God didn't establish government, God gave us laws. It's called the Ten Commandments. We know about the Torah, right? We're going to talk for just a brief moment about King Solomon and you know about his wisdom and the prosperity when he was the king. Um, king Solomon, he had governors. He had governors that ruled. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because sometimes people think as a believer, we shouldn't be involved in government because it doesn't really have anything to do with us and Jesus is our Lord and Savior, and Jesus is going to rule and reign one day. But we know because there is the Ten Commandments, because we see laws, look up Deuteronomy, look at all of the laws that are in place. So clearly, God is interested in establishing laws for people, right? I know you would agree with that. So in 1 Kings 4, it talks about Solomon's administration. Now, you probably know King Solomon at the end of First Kings 3 is the story about the two women. One had a dead child, the other one was living, and so they go and both say that the baby is theirs, you know that story, and then of course the woman whose child is alive says, no, 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 give it to her, I, do, I don't want him to be killed because King Solomon is going to use the sword and to divide the child. And so the woman whose son really was alive would rather her child be alive and give it to the other woman. And of course, she ends up with the child. And I know you know that story. But in 1 Kings 4, then it talks about King Solomon's administration. And it says, so King Solomon was king over all Israel. And then in verse 7, it says he had 12 governors over all Israel who provided food for the king and his household. Each one made provision for one month a year. It goes on to list their names. I'm not going to repeat them because I will mispronounce them. But the point is that King Solomon, we know he was prosperous. We know that he was wise during his reign, but he had governors. So clearly there is established government in scriptures. So yesterday's video was on choices, saying that even if you don't make a choice to, to believe in Christ, that's still a choice. But what I want to say here, and we've talked a little bit about all the things going on in our political arena today, but here's the thing, depending upon which party you, you follow, we all should be angry. This should have nothing to do with any political party. Hear me when I say that. If we are truly a government that is by the people, for the people, then the people should be deciding, not the donors, because the donors decided that the current administration, that the president was not able to win, and the donors decided that he should not run. And that should anger you, no matter which political party you support, it should make you angry, because it should be our decision as the voters, whom we choose as our candidate, not the eight donor donors or the 12 donors or the 16 donors or 24 or however many there are. The ones that are politically involved with the most amount of dollars, those are the people who made the decision. And that should anger you, that some people have decided who the candidate should be. But I know this, that my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he will rule and he will reign as it tells us again about his reign in scripture, that he will rule and he will reign. And that will be the only fair and true and just administration that we will have. Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.